So a lot of people don't really know what dog agility is. I've been doing it for like five years. Yeah, five years. I'm old. So most people know what it is, but they don't know what it's called. Dog agility is that sport where, um, you know, the handler goes out with the dog and they run through all the obstacles. My mom knows me better than I know myself, which is usually how it goes. So, um, we were looking for a dog that would, um, be able to do agility with me, and, um, we had heard that Boston Terriers were good at it, um, so my mom saw, um, on a shelter's website that there was a Boston Terrier available, so she went there, and when she got there, the Boston Terrier had already been, it, he was already adopted, so, um, she was kind of disappointed, but then she saw um, another dog, and she just sat in front of the dog's cage and um, watched its behavior, and the dog wasn't jumping around and barking like all the others. It was just like sitting there and watching my mom. Um, so my mom actually got that dog, with, and um, as she was getting her, um, the guy brought the Boston Terrier back and said that, um, that, um, he had to, he couldn't keep it because it wasn't getting along well with its other dog. And for agility, dogs don't have to get along well with other dogs, but it helps because there's a lot of other dogs there. Um, and this doesn't mean that all Boston Terriers are unfriendly. It just means, um, that individual dog wasn't right for us. My mom always picked me up with the walkers and car riders. And she was hiding in the bushes um, outside of our school. And I was actually doing a dog walking service then. So she came out with, the, with um, the dog. And um, I was like, whose dog is this? And she was like, this is our dog. And I was like, I think that was the most happy point of my um, public school experience. So I sat down and she just like crawled into my lap and I instantly loved her. And uh, I asked what her name was and my mom said she was thinking Liberty because we freed her from the pound and stuff even though it wasn't really a pound it was just a shelter and the shelter there actually takes really good care of its animals but you know it's the thought that counts. So then um, I was the first one besides mom to meet Liberty. Um, so we went, um, she took me home. I liked being picked up instead of taking the bus. Because to me, I just liked seeing my mom. I'm, I'm a mama's girl. So then, um, we, uh, I remember walking Liberty around the yard and, um, trying to figure her out. Um, trying to like figure out her personality and stuff um and then my brother and sister came home on the bus and I was so excited because I knew they'd be really happy and I was feeling rather superior because um I'd met the dog first they hadn't haha <laughs> so yeah they were super excited and they um they loved Liberty instantly it's pretty much impossible not to love Liberty um, so, um, uh, I remember since my mom was the first person Liberty had met, she always kind of like stuck close to her, and I remember feeling kind of upset about that because she was supposed to be, um, like, my agility dog, so I was, um, I was, uh, feeling kind of upset about that because, um, I felt like if she was my agility dog, I would, ha I should have... I should be her favorite, but my mom was her favorite. Um, so I was just like, Nicole, calm down, she'll warm up to you, and she did. And I think I'm her second favorite person, next to my mom. So my mom found an agility place, um, and I don't think I should tell you the name, 
I'm not sure. Maybe I should edit what I just said out. Oh well. Um. Anyway, um. We'd actually seen a dog agility trial there recently, and um. I was, um, so we went there, and I was like, hey, this is the place where we saw the agility trial. And, um, my mom was like, yeah, and, um, I remember being really, really nervous, because, um, I was going to be, like, the only kid there, the, um, the only junior handler. A junior handler is someone who's under age 18. So I was going to be, like, one of the only junior handlers there. So, um, I went in the beginner's class, and I was so nervous because I don't pay very good attention in school. Um, so I just knew I was going to mess something up, and, um, I was going to get yelled at or something. And we'd only, we've, we, we thought we were just going to do the agility for four weeks for the experience, um, and I thought, well, we're not going to learn much in four weeks. Um, but we actually learned a lot. Um, what we do is, um, so I, went, I was in the beginner's class um, in the morning on Sundays. So we'd um, go to class, and then we'd go straight home, drop off the dog, then go to church, and chill the rest of the, um, the rest of the day. So one of the first things I remember doing is... There's an obstacle called the teeter. It's like a seesaw. The dog walks up on end, then it bent, then it like goes meow, and then the dog goes down. Um, so to get the dogs used to that, my dog is extremely, extremely skittish because she was a stray. Um, to get the dogs used to that, they had something called bang boards, which is just like a board that like has a little ball thing under it, under it, and when the dog steps on it, it just goes like that. Um, so, uh, it makes, like, a noise so they could get used to the teeter and, like, the movement and stuff. And what, what they do is, um, you the goal was to get the front two paws on the bang board, and if they did that, they got a treat. And, um, we didn't feed them before, um, we, before we went, uh, to agility because... Then they'd be more food motivated and therefore more mo motivated to do the obstacles. So, um, at first my dog was all like, ah, it's gonna eat me! Yeah. But, uh, she kind of got over it. Um, she really liked the tunnel, which is pretty self explanatory. It's just a tunnel. You, dog goes in one end and comes out the other. One major obstacle for my dog was the chute, and it's like the tunnel, except it's like the beginning of a tunnel, and then there's like, uh, mm, how can I describe this? It's the beginning of a tunnel, and then there's a sheet instead of the tunnel continuing. It's like this much, this much tunnel, or whatever, and then the rest of it's a sheet, and the dog has to go through the sheet. And my dog had a huge problem with that, because the dog can't see. And, um... Uh, and... Uh... I guess he, the dog could just feel like something's gonna jump out at it, or something. Uh... So then... What, um... She eventually, I remember, um... The day that she did the shoot all by herself. Like, what, what we'd do is we'd hold up the sheet at the end and, like, call her and be like, Come on, Liberty! And then she'd be able to do it. I remember the first day she could do it without us holding up the sheet. I was so happy. But I was also really kind of let down because that was the day we were going to take, like, three weeks off because of, like, Christmas and stuff. At the next trial, she did the exact same thing. Um including the lady reaching for her and screaming bloody murder. So I was really kind of frustrated because I didn't know what I was doing wrong. Um, usually when there's a mistake in agility, it's the person's fault, not the dog's fault, so I was trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. 
Um. Uh. So then. Um. We were doing really good in class, so we got moved up to a more advanced class. Um, and I was super nervous about that one too, cause just change for me, it's kind of like. Bleh. And I liked that class a lot better, cause it wasn't just practicing the obstacles; it was like a practice trial. Like you, um, it goes by heights. Like bigger dogs go first, then medium dogs, small dogs, stuff like that. Um, we were in the small dog category, and we were the only ones in our height. So, you know, around the bigger dog, there's like first place, second, then medium, first place, second. We were the only ones in our height. So, we got first place. If we qualified, we'd get first place. That's pretty much all we had to do. Let's qualify. So, we qualified, and we got first place. Um, and um, then my mom came out, and she was like, oh, such a good dog. You know, she congratulated me too, but um, I think Liberty appreciates it a lot more than me. She's like, love me, love me. Um, so then, uh, um, we took lots of pictures of her, like with her blue ribbon and stuff. And then what really stunk was that apparently Liberty had jumped the wrong height. So we got our qualification taken away. Um, and there, there'd been some kind of mix up about like what height Liberty was supposed to jump. Like somebody, some people didn't understand the rules, so they told us to do the wrong thing. Which I kinda understand because there are people who are really serious about this sport. So they have to take it serious. The judges have to take it seriously. But it still kinda stinks. But, um,. Um, by then I was 12 or 13, uh, when I had my first cue, the cue that got taken away. Um, and then, uh, I've done another, uh, trial since then, and I didn't get first place, I got, like, second or something, and I barely qualified, like, um, we didn't do any mess ups or anything, but, um, we were barely fast enough. So we're trying to work on speed and stuff. Um, but most, I think most dogs really do like it. And, um, I think it's the best thing you can do with your dog, like, to kind of bond with your dog. Like, if your dog's been abused or something, then I think it would be a really good choice. Um, kind of like bond with him, and if your dog has a lot of energy, I think agility is a good way to channel that energy, and not ripping your curtains or anything. And guess what my parents got me for, for my 14th birthday? Best present ever. Yeah, this is Liberty. <laughs>